All right, what is up, y'all? Today we are here. It's still like seven o'clock in the morning. Me and Pat and Chris have been bulk recording. So I'm not gonna have internet for a while. So you'll you'll see some different videos over the next couple weeks. But uh, we have our week five, the final week of the PCP Monotype League, and I go up against none other than Pat himself. So I have the Electric type, as you may know, and Pat has the Dark type. Which means that Tapu Koko is coming. <laughs> 100% Tapu Koko is here. Tapu Koko is now, and it's gonna it's gonna do some stuff. Now the fastest Dark type he could possibly have is going to be Weavile. So I can I just sped crept a Weavile, gave a little bit of bulk, which will probably come in handy, frankly. <laughs> Spoilers, but um, I wanted something that could deal with Sableye, so I went Calm Mind just so I can at least boost alongside him. And then also, um, I can do a little bit of damage. Like if I calm mind up and kill something, and then he goes something like a Lolan Muck or Tyranitar, then I can just U-turn out and still do a little bit of damage, kind of check their sets while still being able to uh, preserve this. And people sleep on Tapu Koko. It's a sneaky, bulky mon. Like those defenses aren't bad. The HP isn't necessarily bad. And then with a little bit of bulk, it does become a pretty threatening uh, mon. Mm, excuse me. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool set. Like I said, he has Dark Type, so. Fairy MZ Twinkle Tackle is gonna fuck something up. <laughs> it's gonna fuck the shit out of something. So that'll be fun. And then, um, we got this, which is basically supposed to be the late game cleaner. I'm just gonna lock myself into Dazzling Gleam, most likely, and click fucking. <laughs> uh, click Dazzling Gleam, yes. Over and over again, I'm Scarf Modest. 489 attack. That is a special attack. That's a shitload. So that should be doing a lot of damage to something. I can, uh, yeah. Basically, this is my revenge killer. I'm gonna come in and revenge kill stuff. I know, this is super vivid descriptions, right? Then we got Zapdos. I wanted one Bulkymon with Rocky Helmet to help deal with, because I, mean, I know Alolan Muck's coming. Uh, he has t he has problems with Tapu Koko, and he knows that, because he's not a bad battler, so... He's going to bring a Lolan Muck, most likely, probably AV or something, and uh, just something to sponge hits from Tapu Koko and, you know, other electric types and shit. So, another thing I should probably mention, um, Pat didn't want to make playoffs. This this game was to see if one of us would make playoffs, right? So, um, he told me that he's bringing a meme team. And I was like, bruh, like, I mean maybe keep some memes because like I want to bring a meme or two but like don't you know don't just like hand it to me that's gonna look stupid so I, I I built for a real team and I have one one solid meme as you can probably already see on mine team but uh yeah we have this as just something that can actually help with if he brings like a real real team which he should because you know he's bad so uh, yeah, just pretty standard there, Rocky Helmet, to help deal with a little luck. Then we have our designated lead. I'm gonna bluff the my fucking uh, webs, and I'm just gonna focus sash modest fucking bug buzz and thunder the shit out of everything. Now I looked at my team and I looked at his team. Tyranitar kinda just shits down my throat, so I put Hidden Power Fighting on there just to just to help out with that a little bit. It does like I think 40% in the sand, but hey. That's damage. That's more than Thunder or Bug Buzz is doing, so fuck it. And then we do have the Protect, just in case he did want to bring... I forget exactly what it was. Something with, like, Fake Out to, uh, to break my Sash. Potentially Fake Out Weavile, or something along those lines. I'm sure there's a more uh, applicable Mon that I'm just not thinking of, because, again, this was, like, a week ago, so who knows. But then we get on down to the meme. <laughs> we got a Lychee Berry. Fucking cheek pouch, magnet rise, sub recycle, play rough, dedene. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you guys or anything, but this guy saves the fucking day. This is my, this is my fucking boy. Squeak down, dedene, the motherfucking squeak down right here. This is the boy. If you don't know, Lichu Berry raises your attack at one fourth HP max, one fourth max HP or less. I'm Lisdexic, apparently. Don't listen to me. And then uh, cheek pouch will restore a third of your health if you eat your berry. So that's dope. Um. Now, where we get to the problem is the stats. He has 215 attack, which is just fuck, <laughs> you know? But that'll be, you know, 321 or so, which is respectable after the berry, so that'll be fun. And then 
if I can recycle it enough times, if I can get a free switch and get behind a sub, and I can just keep recycling and subbing and recycling and subbing, maybe Magnet Rise predicting a switch or something, that was kind of the plan, was to, you know, maybe he'd be with like in with like Crook or something, and he's like, uh, maybe he's choiced, or even if he's not, he can't really do much to me, so I Magnet Rise up on the Earthquake, and then he's forced to switch out or go for something like uh, Knock Off, or if he would have like... Poison? I, th I don't think it even gets poison jab. I think it's only sludge bomb. But uh, yeah, he, I could, I could, if I can get, the, if I can force the free switch, then I should be able to get all six fucking boosts with this thing, and outspeed most dark types. So that would be fucking hilarious if that works. Jesus Christ! But it, it's squeaked down. You know what it is. It's, it's here to, uh, you know, kind of even the playing field a little bit. I wanted to bring at least one good solid meme. And then, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to toot my own dick or anything, but this is probably my favorite nickname that I've come up with here in a while. Socket Pussy? Are you kidding me? That's, okay, whatever. But, so we just have a max HP, max attack, the 8 in defense, because why the fuck not? Bandit Electros. So this is another thing just to help me deal with Tyranitar, because if he does choose to bring that over a Mega Sableye, then... Uh, it just kind of fucks my team. Like, if it sets up a Dragon Dance, especially if you bring Mega, good golly, then he sets up a Dragon Dance and he just Earthquakes my entire fucking team, and that sucks. So, with this, I can at least just Bandit Drain Punch the shit out of something. I can knock off um, other things, of course. You turn out, if I'm predicting a switch, he probably... He's definitely bringing Crocodile. And I was also thinking he might bring uh, Crookerock, which would be funny. Like, maybe like a like a Sweeping Crook, and then... Uh, like Eviolite, Bulky, Rocks, Crookerock, which would be hilarious. So, this will help deal with that, with you trying to knock off and whatnot, because Ground and Dark types are, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be the team. Let's just, uh, you know what, let's just jump right on into the battle. So as you can see, he brought, not only did he bring the Water type, which is weak to Electric, he brought the fucking Murkrow, which is like, I think he's brought Murkrow every week, which is also weak to Electric. He brought Sableye, which is safe to assume it's Mega since there's no T-Tar on the team. Uh, Guzzlord, which I wasn't sure if he would bring because it's kind of bad, but it does resist electricity and it does get Earthquake, so there you go. Alolan Muck, of course, is coming, and it looks like that was the first thing he put on the team. And then uh, Crocodile um, seems to be his rock setter, so I don't think he's going to be choiced. But we'll stick it on normal, and we'll just jump right into this bitch. I said, you know, I got my designated lead in Galvantula, and he leads right off with this guy. I'm getting the fuck out of there. If he wants to fake me out, I will lose my sash. If he wants to start setting up, whatever, I can set up alongside him. So he does go for the Calm Mind. So immediately, I just want to let him know that I also have the Calm Mind, so he didn't try to set up in my fucking face again. And we just do that. So here, it was pretty funny. I really wanted to click Twinkle Tackle just because I predicted him to protect, but... I am so fucking glad I didn't because he ends up being Focus Sash. He doesn't go for it, and he goes for the Earthquake, which almost kills Tapu Koko, which would have been bad. But as long as I have HP on this, it should still be good. His only priority would be like Sucker Punch on Merc as well as Shadow Sneak on Muck, so I can keep that. Sack, he will have to. Uh, Sharpedo will die to the Rocky Helmet, and he can bring this in again. And this time, rather than going to old, uh, old Tapu Koko. I just go right to a Ghoul on his Calm Mind. I didn't think he'd Calm Mind because I showed my switch in to be Tapu Koko with Calm Mind, so I expected him to go for the knockoff or something, predicting that to come in. But we do have the Scarf Dazzling Gleam, and I can just click that, and it only does half. And I was like, oh shit, this man is bulky as fuck. And it's it turns into one of these things, you know, where they're setting up, they're, they're boosting the stat that you're hitting them on, so... I'm just praying for crits here, and he starts, he's like, don't you dare, I was like, I'm gonna, he said, I quit if you do, let me do this, I'm just trying to fucking break through this goddamn Sableye, but I also know that I do want to keep this alive, so fuck it, I'm just going right out to squeak down on his recover, and uh, I'm just gonna start subbing up, and hope that he can, uh, what's it called, I was hoping he would just go to full, so that way I could go ahead and start doing my recycle shenanigans, but that's not what happens, so... I'm just going to sub down until I get my berry, and then hopefully, hopefully hit a play rough, and then put the Stabilite in range of something else on my team. So we do get our berry, and our 33% boost, which is nice, and it all comes down to this. Can we get this play rough, please? Thank God to Dene came through, squeak down, 
fucking Dedene the motherfucking squeak down, doing 60% to a Sableye. That's what's up. So, I calced it. You can see here they were saying I'm taking a long time, blah, blah, blah. I was calcing it. I'm not trying to lose to a fucking Sableye. This is not going down. So, fucking uh, Twinkle Tackle did 38 men. So, technically, yes, this is still a roll, but I think it was like 75 or 80% in my favor. So, I was fucking praying, praying, spraying, and praying, you know? And it does kill, thank God. So, that's fun. But now the threat is out of the way, and he brings in the other threat, and I do not want to be Shadow Snuck, so I just go right out into Zapdos. He power up punches, which leads me to believe he is, in fact, the AV set. So that's cool, it's all fine and dandy, but <laughs> uh, non electric terrain boosted Thunderbolt does nothing since I am defensive. He knocks off my Rocky Helmet, takes a lot of damage, and then he can Shadow Sneak me and do that. So that's not fun, that's not fun at all. And I'm forced to go into Galvantula here. And I guess he thinks I can kill him, but I can't, because he's AV. So I thunder, and I barely kill him. I do get the paralysis, which, I mean, it's a muck. You already have 5 speed. But he does get the poison touch on me, which fucking sucks there. But I can at least take out that thing. Now, looking at his team, there is nothing standing in the way of my Taco Coco. But I can't exactly set up. So, yeah, he goes into this, and he takes so much damage that I was like, okay, he's Assault Vest, whatever. And then he's able to kill me with an earthquake. Now he gets his beast boost, right? But it doesn't really bug me too much because I can just go right into really all three of these Pokemon and click the super effective move and just win. But with Tapu Koko being as low as it was, I wanted to save it for the uh, for the Crook, and then I wanted to have Electros in the back just in case he was Scarf Crook, so I can switch in on his earthquake and whatnot. So that'll be cool. So Zerkatree's looking like the man to do the job, and I go for the Dazzling Gleam. But he has the fucking resist berry, and I die to his earthquake, which fucking sucks. This Guzzlord is putting in work right now. This is destroying me. It's fucked up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just, I guess I didn't calc it properly. He must he must have just been heavily invested in Spadef. But then again, I kind of underestimated the Guzzlord, because it's a fucking Guzzlord. Like, this is the worst Ultra Beast there is. Like, I would take a Nihilego before I take a Guzzlord. But it does look cool as fuck. This was the one I was most hyped about whenever all the leaks came out, and now it's here earthquaking my entire team. But at least I can revenge it with the Dazzling Gleam or U-Turn, whatever I want to go for here, really. Take that out. And then I can kind of see his end game here. He has a Murkrow with Prankster and a Crocodile. So leads me to believe he's going to go for Tailwind or Sucker Punch or something along those lines. I'll go right out into my bulky-ass eel, and I can just click fucking Drain Punch. He turns out to be Sash. I wouldn't have killed him if he was a Violite either, but hey. So, he goes for the double Tailwind, which, whatever, but... Drain Punch is all nice. He also said he had three moves. I think he was playing on his phone, so that kind of sucks. But he smacks me down, right? And then I can just Drain Punch, get all my health back. But he's definitely going to kill me with Earthquake. So, I can switch out, or I can let Tapu Koko kill him. It really doesn't matter. Um, at this point, I do win. 1-0, and everything's going to be fine and dandy, because the Tailwind peters out right there. Thank God. Thank fuck. So that's all. That's nice. So we do win, 1-0, and um, yeah, we uh, technically we should make playoffs. So let me let me give you the rundown real quick, right? You know what? Why don't we just open up the old uh, PCP page for you guys? We'll just, uh, we'll just do this right here. So this is the end of everything. Spoilers, blah, blah, blah. It's already been a minute. Um, I actually haven't updated this. Andre, this is this is what we're getting to, right? So, uh, Chris gets the bye week, and then I would play uh, whoever has higher differential between Nathan and Andre, if everything goes well. But, what happened was, Chris is being a little bitch, and he threw his fucking game versus Andre with five points left, which means that Andre beats me by one differential point, and Andre and Nathan play for playoffs to go against Chris. I don't make fucking playoffs, and I was up the fuck set, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, whenever that shit went down, I was up the fuck set. We were, we were chatting beforehand, and he was like, oh, so all I gotta do is lose by four, right? And I was like, yeah, sure, fuck yeah. But Chris decided to, uh, Chris decided he was too scared to play me again, and uh, he wanted to just take the easy route, which, I mean, I guess I get it. That's, that's, 
logically that makes sense. Doesn't make you any less of a bitch, but yeah. So go ahead and leave some negative comments down for Chris for being a twunt. But <laughs> so I don't make playoffs for the first time in my entire fucking PCP career and all the things we've done, which kind of sucks. But then again, it's kind of it's kind of freeing as well. Kind of gives me some leeway in my schedule. <laughs> so. The divisions will be Javi got the bye week, so it'll be Dan versus Jason for the for the wild card, and then Simmies against Javi, whoever wins those. And then it will be Andre and Nathan for the wild card to go against Chris for Simmies, and then the winner of those will place each other for the finals, and then we will do something else, and it'll be fun. So look forward to that. I might still do some coverage on that, possibly depending on who ends up playing and whatnot, or who ends up. Uh, going to playoffs but yeah thank you guys for watching go ahead and like and subscribe and do all that bullshit i will see you guys next time and pat's link is in the description if you want to subscribe to him and not chris thanks <laughs> bye forever